Hello, and welcome to the BMC Learning Series. Today we'll be covering the configuration of the RTCS System Registry, Part 1, Concepts and Terminology. RTCS provides a way for products to store configuration and product-specific data without needing explicit dataset references within the products. RTCS registries can contain both LPAR-specific and shared entries. This has implications for the RTCS registry definition and placement. Because the RTCS registry can hold entries which are shared between multiple LPARs and product instances, it is designed to be a shared construct within a SysPlex. This sharing is accomplished via Cross-System Coupling Facility, or XCF. While any individual registry instance can only be accessed from one system, the registry owner, access to that registry can be extended to other members of the SysPlex using XCF. When a registry is not being shared using a single specific XCF group, it is referred to as a private registry. Configuring the RTCS subsystem system registry as a private registry is not recommended unless your SysPlex is a monoplex, in which case there are no other LPARs to share with anyway. The local owner of a registry is the address space that currently owns the MVS data space that contains its data. If the registry is backed, then the local owner also owns the registry's backing VLDS and has opened an ACB for it and div mapped it into the MVS data space. When data in a registry needs to be accessed from the address spaces executing on a system in the SysPlex other than the one on which the registry data space exists, RTCS uses XCF to transmit the request to the owner of the registry and receive the response or data in return. Each RTCS subsystem address space is a member of the XCF group that is dedicated to that registry. If the registry is being SysPlex shared, then other instances that access registry data use XCF to forward requests to the local owner. These non-local owning instances are referred to as remote registry instances. This slide illustrates RTCS instances on four LPARs, three of which are remote registry instances communicating to the local owner instance via XCF. Parameters which control the allocation and sharing of the RTCS registry, as well as which systems can be eligible owners, are controlled by the OSZ Any XX parameter member. This member is located in the UBMC PARM library for new customers, but it may be in the UBB PARM library for legacy customers. OSZ sets up an OSZ Any member for each LPAR with a suffix of its sysclone value. The OSZ init proc is created with the hard-coded any equals value, the sysclone value of the first LPAR configured, so it must be changed to any equals ampersand sysclone manually. It's highly recommended that all LPARs which share a common RTCS registry use a single OSZ any member, usually suffixed with 00. Conversion to this approach is a manual process but ensures consistent registry management across the sharing LPARs. In this case, the OSZ init proc must be changed to any equals 00. XCF shared registry support necessitates the existence of several different access parameters. These include those necessary for XCF to function, as well as some RTCS registry specific shared registry attributes. The DS name of the backing VLDS for the RTCS subsystem system registry is specified in the SREG VLDS parameter of the OSZ any member. All members of an XCF group, which should share the same dataset, must point to the same SREG VLDS. If members use the same OSZ any member, usually 00, this will happen automatically. If each member has its own SZ any member, usually ampersand sysclone, they must be checked to ensure the SREG VLDS 
is the same in all OSZ any instances. Failure to have all members using the same registry may cause unpredictable results. The registry XCF group specified in the OSZ any member should align to the RTCS registry being shared. If a single backing VLDS for the RTS subsystem system registry is shared across a sysplex, the default XCF group of OSZ RTCSR will work just fine. If more than one RTS subsystem system registry is being used in a single sysplex or subplex configuration, each subplex must have its own XCF group. Otherwise, requests may cross subplex boundaries and affect multiple registries. This is so because XCF is a sysplex-wide construct, and if multiple subplexes use the same XCF group name, they will all receive each other's requests or updates, even though they are physically isolated, that is, no shared DASD. If LPAR-specific registries are used, they should be configured so that XCF is not used. This is not recommended in a true sysplex environment. Because the RTCS subsystem system registry should be shared, MVS images that are in a sysplex may need to establish a registry instance in order to be able to access that registry. But those images are inappropriate to ever be the physical owner of the registry for a variety of reasons, including the case where an image is running on an underpowered, small, or slow CPU or LPAR, or on a system that is unstable or re-IPL'd frequently. LPARs, which should not become the local owner, need to have their own OSZ any settings changed from eligible owner to ineligible owner. Note that this is a manual change and will require at least two OSZ any members for the sysplex, one for eligible owners and one for ineligible owners. This situation can still use a shared proc by utilizing the any equal parameter to point to the correct OSZ any member. Because only one shared registry instance can actually be the local owner of the MVS data space, and the backing VLDS at any one time, all of the other registry instances will be the remote instances. The installation can specify the status of the RTCS system registry for that RTCS subsystem address space by specifying the desired or required initial state, including whether or not the instance must be the local owner or can be the local owner or cannot be the local owner initially. It can also specify that it must become the local owner, but that other or remote instances cannot yet access this instance. The flags in the OSZ any member for the RTCS subsystem system registry are shared registry, alloc registry, exposed registry, and remote registry. Only one of these can be active for any registry instance or LPAR. The others must be prefixed with no. Here's an example where the first three parameters in the block, private, alloc, and expose, are prefixed with no, and the shared option is active. Remember, only one RTCS instance can be the local owner of the backing VLDS and the mapped data space. Requests from other members, systems, address spaces travel through XCF. All LPARs using the same RTCS subsystem system registry must be in the same XCF group. If the same XCF group is used for the LPARs using different RTCS system registries in the same sysplex, there could be unpredictable results. The RTCS registry component keeps track of which member owns the VLDS and data space and routes requests to that member whenever it's executing. For more videos on MainView and other BMC products, please visit our BMC mainframe YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash BMC software mainframe slash featured. That's it for part one. Thank you and see you next time.